social media blogger and influencer on both Weibo and Bilibili with more than a quarter of a million followers on these platforms. Susie, if somebody wants to become a social media influencer right now, how can they start? What shall they do? So to become a KOL in China now, I would say stick to your core value because there are now so many bloggers that are posting their content on site. So how can you stand out from them? You need to stick with their own personality. Uh, own personalities and because the content every people can create quite similar ones but the only the person that people may like you and they will I would say this will help you to stand out from those uh, other people's and to show uh, who yeah, you really are yeah, who you really are yes and right now in China there are so many blogger incubators you know yeah. where they take people and they train them to become bloggers yes what do you think about that is it really helpful shall everybody who wants to become a blogger go through this program I will say uh, this works can all this can work but it can only work for a very short term mm. yes because people will only look for their content but not this person so maybe they will think this uh, content information is useful, they will take it, but they don't remember you. Uh, yeah, so... so personality pers is the key. Yeah, I would say personality is key, plus the quality content. Mm. And uh, even if you have the, uh, the company to help you to grow followers, you need to have your own like specialties uh, to, to diversify yourself from the other ones. Uh, Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. And uh, what would be your advice to the international marketing uh, companies or brands yes. that are working with Chinese uh, influencers? What is the best way to utilize this talent? Yes, for the international brands, I would say uh, at first they need to know what they what do they want from the KOLs. There are so many kinds of KOLs. Some of them are only provide those uh, informative content. They are not uh, personalized. They only provide like the high quality videos mm. or the words, but not with the very personalized thing. Touch. Touch, yeah. So uh, the brands who work with them maybe have a higher uh, impression, but they not have a high engagement because people do not uh, think there is a distance uh, with these kind of accounts. But on the other hand, there are also KOLs who have very strong personalities and who uh, also their own styles are very outstanding. And brands who work with them should, um, I would say, minimize the restrictions and give them the respect to their uh, own content generations because they know their audience best. They, they know how to communicate the brand or communicate this product to the audience. So I would say limit the restrictions Absolutely. to these kind of KOLs. As an insider, would you say for a Chinese blogger, money is the most important consideration when choosing a brand or is there something else that's even more important? Definitely there is something else. But for some KOLs, they might just for business. They're just for only for running for the capital things. But for the others, they might seek for the deeper value inside the brand. Maybe this value can also help them to uh, to present themselves because they share the same value, they share the same concept. And also for some big brands, even if they give a little bit, a little money, and it can show like um, a recognition from the brand, so the mm. KOLs might also take it. Mm, absolutely. Yes. And what is your uh, vision of the future of bloggers in China? Where is this whole thing going? I would say the blogger, the blogging thing will become more and more popular in China. Okay. Even if, even if the platforms change, but this trend was still growing because the people want interactions, no matter in the real realities or in the virtual uh, social media, they want to interact with people. So if the blogger can, um, I would say, uh, if he's very like interesting, it has some uh, unique points like that, uh, that is valuable to the audience definitely they will uh, follow him and to follow their content follow their lifestyle, li lifestyle. Right, right so yeah. in china we we, we we will not see the disappearance of bloggers yeah definitely no <laughs> no no okay and we spoke briefly about the platforms so what are your top three platforms <coughs> sorry the first uh, top two definitely will 
should still be Weibo and WeChat mm. because they are so huge. Like in a short in a short period, no platform I will envision to exceed them. Not even Douyin. Not even Douyin because now in Total. <laughs> It's going now. It's already. I see the trend of uh, the decline going down, yeah. the, going down because also there's the saturation of the content. Like people, there's a, the, the, the time that people are get bored with this kind of very short video. Still, they are needed, but they still need other kinds of content. People cannot browsing for like ten minutes videos for uh, almost every day for two hours is impossible. They still need to seek for different content, such as some informational. Uh, informative tips and also some maybe um, more knowledge uh, mm. knowledge sharing, things, sharing videos etc so these things they can get from other platforms such as uh, WeChat for uh, long articles and also Bilibili now is going really really fast now and like a second YouTube in China because uh, the people are doing a vlog on that and yeah it's like kind of uh, sharing their life in a more uh, more interactive way. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So we were with Suzy Hu, who is a blogger from mainland China with 250,000 fans on social media. Do connect with her and follow her journey at Suzy Loves Life on Weibo. And we'll see each other soon.